Okay, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to get started with some foundation pages for December Daily. Um, I am taking Allie Edwards' class, and so some inspirational photos have been, been posted um, on Instagram to start kind of prepping some of these pages ahead of time, which definitely helps. So um, on day one, she was showing off... Um, the little, she called them like peekaboo windows. They were pretty much like two by two little window cards that had little flaps to reveal either journaling or you can put a photo inside that were available to purchase. I did not purchase those um, only because I was working on a bigger scale. So she made hers to fit into her six by eight album and they were two by two. So what I'm gonna do is take that idea and expand it for my 10 by eight album. I've pulled out these six extra pieces of cardstock that were just in my scrap box from December dailies of Christmas past. And they all kind of are red, gold, and pink. So that way they're a little bit more consistent. Speaking of, so in Christmases before, I have done something like this and it's always been a day six thing. So in 2019, this idea came from, I forget her last name, but her, her first name, her last name is Van Buden or Van Van something. I, I'm so sorry. I always want to pay credit where credit's due. But she used the We Are Memory Keepers little envelope um, maker. And actually, these are probably scraps from <laughs> this day. Uh, since two years ago, I've been holding on to this paper. So on day six, I made it like six things that were happening or loving at that time. So in essence, you can, since it always fits six, um, or at least I like to do six because Allie's was six. It's the same kind of take on this idea where you have a piece of acetate and there are six things. So in hers, they're little flip windows. So we're just going to be making little flip areas <laughs> with the pattern paper that are going to flip up. Now this year, I did something similar last year, but they were circles instead of envelopes. So this time I'm just going to make them look like presents. I think that's why I've pulled some of the ribbon and stuff over here. And so... It doesn't have to be designated to day six, but in essence, I'm recreating kind of this little interactive page for this year's um, album. So this is two years ago's December Daily. But I'm hoping just to turn, I believe it'll start with this one, um, three inch, three by three po uh, squares that I'll have like this, squares on the page. So six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then the idea is to turn them into gifts in my head. So I'll do a piece of ribbon that way and that way and hopefully do a little bow in some sort of fashion like that and hot glue that. So that's the idea. Let's get started. Okay, so let's start off with cutting down any six piece of papers that coordinate with each other to about six by three. Um, one of mine was a little bit shy of it, but I figured it was okay as long as my three inch square that will be the flap was um, the exact size. That way, whatever photo or journaling, I can kind of cover up the missing measurement of paper. So once you have your six, just fold them in half. Or if you have a um, score, a score maker, just score them down the middle and that way you have all six flaps ready to go. Now this is a perfect time to bust out your ribbon collection. Let me tell you that I keep on buying ribbon every single season and I bought some more this year too and I never use enough to justify the collection that I have. I really don't. But this was a good chance right now to go through a lot of it. Oh, not a lot of it, but I used a few different options that I had for Christmassy ribbons, and I tried not to have any of them repeat next to each other because I think two do repeat just because I like the gold, and I think I double use the iridescent one. Um, and then I started making little bows from the same ribbon, um, by myself and it took a little time this part was definitely not an easy process <laughs> the bow making part other than that this was very simple now if you saw my other one that i gave examples for it was using the we are memory keepers envelope punch board or you know they have a few in the line but it was the envelope one in particular in order to make it that small little two by three size that is an option as well and if you are buying uh the products from Allie Edwards she offered these little peekaboo windows that were two by two inch squares so this can be recreated you can do it on acetate or colored cardstock but at least it gives you six areas for photos and or the journaling and so I love the way it turned out so I just left 
two unadorned with bows because I figured one will hold the number and I was going with number six. And then the bottom one, you can see I added a like polka dot heart and a speech bubble that was also a heart shape in order to add some embellishments to these pages. I hope you enjoy this foundation page and give it a try. Tag me if you'd like and follow me on Instagram for more inspiration.